All right, I've got Justin Alberti joining me again from the GRDA here to talk about boating safety specifically. Last segment we focused on life jackets, but now we're looking at the big picture. Once you've got your life jacket, mm -hmm. you're in the boat, what do you need to do to stay safe out on the water? Well, first of all, it starts with uh, just using some common sense. You know, the lake is big enough for everybody to mm -hmm. come enjoy, so watch out for the other guy. We've seen large crowds. Of course, we're just coming out of the 4th of July. Money. Very Can large crowd on the water. We expect to see that pretty much Money. all summer. I mean, look what the weather is doing. So it's going to be hot, yeah. right? So get out on the water. Um, use common sense. Watch out for the other guy. Boat smart. Know something about the vessel you're going to be operating. You know, don't just jump in it cold and take off and go. Have an have a understanding of, of how it steers and the horsepower and things like that. Um, how it operates. Do things like file what we call file a float plan. So a float plan. if you're on if you're in the boat or Let's if you're if you're on a on maybe on a personal watercraft, you know you're camping or you're at somebody's lake house. Let somebody responsible on the shore know where you're going to go, and how long you're going to be gone. You know maybe say hey I'm going to take the jet ski out for an hour or so. I want to run up this cove or whatever, so that if something does happen and you don't come back when they're expected when you're expected to. They kind of have a general idea of where you were, where you were going to go, and what you'd plan to do. Um, certain things you want in your vessel, you want you want a whistle, you want working lights for when you're out there at night. Of course, we've already talked about life jackets on board for everybody. Uh, some kind of bailing device. A lot of a lot of boats require you to have a fire extinguisher, things like that on board. Just so, just some general safety equipment that you need on your vessel before you head out on the water. Well, and one thing that people may not think about, um, you know, it's hot. Mm -hmm. You deal with a lot of heat exhaustion and stuff. Uh, you don't necessarily want to drink the water that's no. out there. Yeah. So like you need to bring stuff to keep yes. you hydrated and safe while you're on the boat. So it keeps your senses. Absolutely, stay hydrated. You know, a lot of boats have a canopy. Not all boats have a canopy. So sunscreen's your friend, maybe a big brimmed hat's your friend. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the sun beating down on you, you combine that with the wave action and everybody else out on the water, you know, it, it can be a little, it can, it can disorient you just a little bit. So that's why we also stress um, what, what you are drinking, make sure it's water or something that keeps you hydrated, but avoid the alcohol. Don't, don't, don't drink and boat because alcohol can dull those senses just a little bit. And if you're operating that vessel, you've got people out on the water all different directions. You've got the sun and the wave action, things like that, and you really need to have your senses about you to operate a boat um, in certain areas of the lake, obviously, where, there's, where it's crowded. If you're going to go back up into a quiet cove, like a lot of people like to do, and just kind of raft up and park it, that's great. But again, in those areas, hey, stay away from the, from the back of the boat. And if you're in those areas and you're trolling through there, watch out for the other guy, you know, people floating in the water, maybe on one of those big pads or something like that. So just use common sense and be careful. What are some big uh, mistakes that you see people experiencing when they're on the water? We Get see, well, we see excessive speed a lot, a lot of times, maybe not obeying the no wake zones. So excessive speed is one. Uh, driver inattention is something we see a lot as well, where they just didn't see the other guy or they just weren't paying attention. There's just so much going on. They just, just didn't see what was happening. So those are two big ones we see. And again, you know, uh, life jacket use you know we don't always see life jacket use so that's why we continue to stress it you know so those are the things really that are kind of key um, also uh, it's important to mention kind of know the area of the water you're going to be in maybe what the water depth is mm -hmm. you know and that um, changes a lot with uh, which each season too how mm -hmm. are lake levels at it lake, lake levels are, are right about normal right now so we're seeing it about normal but uh, at other times of the year they may be up they may be down if if they are up Things you look for are is maybe the, sh the topography of the shorelines changed a little bit. So something like a picnic table or a trash can that might have been right on the shore may be underwater now if, if you're boating when the le level's up. And uh, conversely, if the level's down, mm -hmm. maybe uh, you're a little closer to, to the to a little less water underneath your boat than you thought there was. Okay. And you talked about the no wake zones. There's different reasons for those. There's a reason for no wake zones. Yeah. Yeah, there's a reason for no wake zone to watch your speed, maybe under a bridge or something like that where, the, where the, the passage gets a little tight. We want you to go slow under there. Then also no wake zones are in place so that your boat doesn't throw a wake up onto somebody's property, somebody's dock, you know, can cause damage. So we want you to be area in, or in those certain coves, we want you to be aware in those, those areas where, the, where it's a little tighter so that you're not throwing big waves onto somebody's dock or, or causing somebody some property damage. Okay.
Anything else you want to add about boating safety in general? If you're out there um, and, if, and you have an emergency on the water, our officers ask that you dial 911. If you don't have access to your cell phone, you can also use Marine Band Channel 16 on your, your boat's radio. All right, Channel 16. Yep. All right, well, thank you again for coming in this thank morning. You. you can watch both of these segments on our, on our website, koamnewsnow.com, later this morning to learn all about life jacket and boating safety. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm.